If you're going to be a great artist, you know what you need? You need to be able to see possibilities. See things that not as though they are, but what they could be. Can you see possibilities? Can you see the invisible? Can you see what tomorrow could look like? It's about having using your imaginations and using dreams, not as the situation that you're in right now, but what they could be. Give yourself permission to do that. If you're going to be a great artist, you have to do that. Second of all, I want you to give yourself permission to color outside of the lines and do things differently. Because what makes, what, if you do things differently, that will set you apart and that will get you recognized. But just having a gift and a talent is not enough. It's taken me a long time to learn that. It takes your gifts and talents combined with good choices. Combine them, marry them, and then you'll be successful. See, it's making those good choices. And when I talk about good choices, I'm saying you have the right to choose your attitude. You have the, the, the right to, to make decisions on how you're going to treat somebody else. When you make those good choices, combining with the gifts and the talent, at that intersection, you'll find your destiny. See, when you get in the zone, like a basketball player, you can tell when a basketball player's in the zone because he's starting to hit all those hours and days and years of practice, or he's mastering it, and now he's just feeling it. Not that he knew it, but he mastered it. If you're going to create a masterpiece, you have to master the pieces. You have to know the basics, not just know them, but master them. Have you ever wondered what it takes for something to be considered a masterpiece or a work of art? Is it the artistic talent or the uh, skill of the craftsman? Hi, my name is Richard Height. And I want to tell you about a keynote address that I have called the Masterpiece in You, challenging the audience to live a life of a masterpiece, living their lives as a work of art. And I turned around and I looked in that room to see who said go for it, but nobody else heard it. And then I took a couple more steps and I stopped because I was stunned. Because there on the chalkboard was about 24 different colors of chalk. More chalk than I had ever seen before. I didn't know they made so many different colors of chalks. And I picked up three chalks in both hands and I began to dance. And I began to move just wildly as fast as I could on that chalkboard, just rocking. I'd turn around periodically to see if my friends were there. And they'd be there going, go Richard, go Richard, go Richard, you know. Richard's ability to make his artwork and convey his message in such a short amount of time was simply amazing. We were looking for something unique and different and we found it in Richard. He hit the mark both igniting and inspiring. Visual impact combines both the visual arts and the spoken words, creating an informative and an entertaining keynote address. We've never had so much wonderful feedback from everyone after a conference like we did when Richard spoke. We've already had so many requests to bring him back for next year. See, talent, real talent, cannot be taught. It's not a workshop, it's not a school, it's not a diploma, but real talent can be awakened. And it is, as individuals, our responsibility to take that initiative to awaken it. Value is determined by refined uniqueness. And that refined uniqueness produces a significance. Everyone who was created and born with a unique gift and a talent, a place, a spot, a place of their own that makes them unique and valuable. Find your uniqueness. 
Find what sets you apart. Find what makes you different. I have addressed thousands of uh, individuals, both in the corporate world and some high energy students. And I know that I can connect with your audience in a real and a passionate way to make a difference in their lives. It's not trespassing to go beyond your own boundaries. Go ahead and color outside of the lines. by eight foot chalk drawing just a few minutes and he's wonderful <laughs> i use every kind of medium that you can imagine everything from clay to uh to oils to acrylics and something but when i'm doing my performance in front of people it's best to use chalk because i get the vibrant colors uh i it, i love the chalk just flying and it's it's exciting this artist is definitely inspirational my dream happened to be always to be an, uh, an artist and so if i can encourage them to reach their potential sight and sound generation they need to see this thing come alive give birth to it so the neat thing is not just the finished piece of artwork but to watch it come from nothing to a finished piece within a matter of moments. When you hide from responsibility, your gift, your talent, your place is going to hide from you. So it's your next event if you're looking for a top keynote speaker that can educate, motivate, or inspire. I want you to remember the name of Richard Haidt. Thank you very much.